Hey guys, this is Mike. Uh, in this video, I'm going to be covering how to fix uh, your video. In other words, how to fix your specifically ATI video card drivers to work well with Ubuntu. Uh, the first part I'm going to cover is Genome Gnome Shell. Now, for Gnome Shell, uh, I've seen a lot on YouTube on a lot of websites where the video isn't working properly. Um, or it's it's lagging or it's like stuttering when you move windows around things like that uh, that's something that, yes that used to happen to me when I tried gnome shell um, there's only one way that I see that that can be fixed uh, at least that worked for me um, other than that I think you would either have to speak with uh, uh, ATI or canonical uh, but the only solution I found to that is you have to roll back your driver. Uh, in other words, um, if you're using an ATI card, and you should after you go to the ATI website and you put in all your information for your specific video driver uh, the, or the video card that you have, and then you're here at the download page. Um, what you gotta do is basically, for example, if you're using <coughs> the latest version 12.3 and it's not working for you then you have to obviously you have to go to a previous driver software um, Gnome Shell doesn't use Compiz so it's not a Compiz confliction uh, it's not conflicting with Compiz um, so you have to roll back your driver not necessarily because you have a new operating system you have to use the newest and greatest uh, ATI driver the newer drivers are basically just basically include drivers for the newer cards so if you don't have the latest most expensive cutting edge card um, and you have like me and a ATA card that's uh, what four years old um, then you don't need the newest drivers for it to work fine or perfectly just because you have the newest drivers is not going to make the video card work any better um, okay just want to clarify that now for example here's a list of different driver versions um, for me the one that works best is 1110 so that's a couple of versions away from the one we're at now which is 12.3 um, and then we have these three versions in between um, so I had to roll back all the way to 1110 oops four versions before mines all the way back to 1110 which came out in October um, so that it can work fine with Ubuntu 11.10 and 11 and uh, 12.04 uh, which is a new, which is Precise Pangolin, uh, which is coming out. I've tested it already in uh, with uh, Beta 2, uh, Precise Pangolin, and same thing, same thing. 11.10 as 12.04. I had to roll back my driver in order for it to work. So that, and I've tried every other resource possible in the Ubuntu forums and everything like that. So that's my best option to you that's the only way I got it fixed to work perfectly now I'm not a gnome shell user I like my gnome classic as you see uh, as you see I have it set up but that's the only way I got it to work and I'm sure that if you roll back your driver you can either test going back one by one uh, it is a little bit of work and uninstalling and reinstalling uh, I would say you know try go back every two versions or every three versions or to the last known driver version that you know worked perfectly uh, that's my best recommendation for gnome shell users because that's a totally different animal um, and desktop environment um, in itself since it doesn't use compiz for any of the um, uh, window managing now to move along with uh, the other uh, desktop environments like uh, unity and um, gnome classic now for that, uh, any fixes with the drivers, uh, like uh, if you're getting uh, laggy or study, also like windows when you move them around, for example, when you move them around. Uh, now what's happening in mine is because I'm recording, I have several apps open, um, so yeah, it's it, I'm recording FFmpeg which basically transcodes the video on the fly, so it is using some CPU power and that's probably why it's, it, it's doing that, but other than that it works perfectly fine and looks great. Um, so, uh, for GNOME Classic and Unity users, you would do the same thing. You would look for your driver. Um, you would look for your driver, and you would eventually come to this page. Uh, download your driver, but then you're going to open this website here, the unofficial wiki for AMD Linux drivers. You're going to open that. It's going to take you here. It's a wiki page. Uh, when you're here, 
you're going to go down to installation uh, you're going to click on here distribution specific you're going to choose Ubuntu of course you're going to choose the version of Ubuntu you have whether it be uh, as far back as it is or if you have Natty, Oneric or Precise Pangolin um, I have Oneric so we're going to go to that but the, here you just choose the version of Ubuntu you have uh, like I said, this is for GNOME Classic and Unity for the people that are getting lag, stutters, um, tearing in their video. Uh, this is for you guys. And then once you're here, you're just going to click on Installing Catalyst Manually. That's going to take you down. So before you start, obviously, you're going to go ahead and uh, go to your software center. As it says here, before you start, there's some things you have to do before that. You have to enable. Um, you have to enable the universe and the multiverse in your software center. In other words, uh, once it loads, uh, it's taking quite a while. Okay, so once you're here, you go to software sources. It's probably going to prompt you for a password. Oh, well, it's not. And you're going to enable this the main and the universe. Those are the ones you're, I'm sorry, these are the ones you're going to enable. Okay. Um, these two they normally are checked off but those two are the ones you're going to enable to in order because you have to install these and they're pulled from those repositories so once you have that you're gonna you're gonna just copy paste this into your terminal Y type when you can copy um, and then you're just gonna follow the instructions as it says here now remember this is we're gonna cover first um, doing it with the latest driver so as it states, this is updated constantly. Every time a new driver comes up, they, up, they update the version. So as you can see, it's at 12.3. So just remember to take that into uh, consideration. In a couple of minutes, I'm going to mention why you need to keep that in mind. So basically, you're going to follow the instructions, do everything here. Uh, when you're done install, this generates a, a uh, distribution-specific uh, ATI driver installation. In other words, it's it's going to create specifically for your system the one you have installed. It's not a generic, it's not the run file that you just installed. This is going to generate specifically for your in, uh, Ubuntu installation. Once you're done, you're going to go ahead and configure and this uh, put in this command to configure the Zorg file. That should work fine. Uh, after that, you're going to restart your system. If you see that um, it's still not using the Zorg file, and you can verify that by uh, typing in this command here, fglrx <coughs> info, I'm sorry about that, info, uh, and if it doesn't show you the correct information, then you're going to have to use this command here to force the system to use a new Zorg file. And as you see, it says, if necessary. That's only if, it, if, if, he, if this isn't give, providing you in the terminal the correct information. After doing this, the generic config, then you'll have to force the Zorg file to be used. Okay? So, like I said, th those are the different uh, situations that are happening. Now, if you restart and if you did the FGRLX info and it's recognizing your video, the first thing you should do is um, go into the Catalyst Control Center and go to Display Options. In Display Options, you're going to go to Tier Free and you're going to enable Tier Free. Okay, uh, you're going to need to do that for video most most of the time, um, and it works instantly. You don't have to restart your computer for that. So once you enable Tier Free, you might still see some jerky and some lagginess um, in your Windows Manager, for example, when you move. Um, when you move a window around, you might see some jerkiness, some lagginess here is happening. Like I said, I'm recording, that's why it's happening. Um, so, if you still see that, you go into your compiz, uh, compass config settings, specifically go to OpenGL and uncheck sync to vblank. Well, as soon as I, un I uncheck that, compass starts working perfectly. All the animations work fluidly not a problem. I take that on and it's horrible, horrendous. It looks unacceptable. So once you take that off, that'll work for most people. Um, the tier free plus this, everything should work fine after that. There should be no problems. Um, there should be no problems after that. If you just go ahead and if you want to uh, toy around 
with uh, with your display settings. Um, for example, if you want to the refresh on your screen, um, usually this will be at 60. When I usually when I install the, the Compact Config settings, I think it's uh, usually set at 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 60 or or uh, 50. Very 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 low. And I don't like that because I know my screen uh, when I used to use Windows, it, I, it the the recommended refresh rate is 75. My monitor can't support that, so I tell Compiz, I force Compiz to use 75, and ATI picks that up uh, as well. Next time you uh, restart your computer, ATI when you go to the ATI config settings, uh, they, the Catalyst controller, you'll see it. It'll say 75 refresh rate. Also, if you use uh, full screen applications, you should have checked uh, undirect full screen windows so there's no conflicts there as well like I use XPMC as my media center which I love uh, and so that Compiz doesn't uh, manage that window um, since it's full screen um, I have it checked as undirect full windows full screen windows now tier free and sync to vblank that should fix almost all of your video problems like I said other than that if you're still having a video issue then you need to roll back your driver like I said it's not necessary if you don't have the newest card out there it's not necessary for you to use the newest driver out there it's not gonna provide you a better video just because you're using a newer, uh, newer Catalyst Control Center driver it might include a feature or two um, that betters the performance maybe but if you have a card like me like two or three years old it is not necessary just roll back your driver like I said try every two or three drivers back something is gonna work or if you remember which driver version was the one that worked perfectly before then yes uh, that's the one you should go back to I don't use the one provided by Canonical here by Ubuntu um, and the additional drivers because I like using the proprietary ones um, so I can choose which version I'm using um, plus I know they'll include several features that these don't usually include plus Ubuntu uh, plays better with NVIDIA drivers so NVIDIA uh, people uh, kudos to you you get better support for the uh, video drivers but I'm not saying the ATI is bad or or, or it, I'm just saying that Ubuntu uh, for some reason they get better support and uh, they better support NVIDIA drivers now what I mentioned before that you have to watch out for the version when you're typing in these commands in the terminal is because if you do roll back your driver um, so you don't have any errors or anything like that if you do use uh, older version like 11.10 you have to remember to change these uh, the folder names and the command uh, when you're downloading if you download it uh, using this command the white get um, and you just change the version and it'll download the same way if you put 11 dash uh, 11 dash 10 it'll work the same way it'll download it as well using the terminal and then to change the permissions on it as well you have to change the version um, so that's something like I said before you have to uh, you have to pay attention to that keep that in keep that in mind and consideration um, other than that everything should work fine like I said uh, to, uh, to, to just recap GNOME Shell users, um, GNOME Shell doesn't use Compiz, so that there's nothing to tweak in Compiz for that. Uh, like I said, if your video is having problems, then uh, try using the tier free option. Uh, try playing with some other options in ATI con Catalyst Control Center. That doesn't work. Roll back your driver. For Unity and GNOME Classic users, if you're using Compiz and the effects aren't looking as good, videos tearing up, and when I mean tearing up I mean it's like a little line it looks like when it's refreshing it's unsynced when uh, when it's uh, you know there's a lot of movement on the screen um, then like I said before, as soon as you install ATI driver restart the system so you can start using the new Zorg file <coughs> and the new, and the new uh, driver enable the tier free and disable or uncheck or untick however you want to say it the V sync to the sync to V blank in the OpenGL uh, settings in the comp is in the comp is config settings. Um, that's basically that's all for today. That's the video I have here for today. I hope this helps you out. 
If it does, uh, or if it doesn't, you're still having problems, go ahead and comment. Uh, maybe, you know, we're always open to options. If somebody else has another different option or tip, we'll go ahead and look into that. Um, so please, uh, if you can, like the video. Uh, let us know that you like it, and if you can, subscribe. Thank you.